everyone. So we are going to be talking about lines. Now last time we met for art, we learned about different types of lines, like straight lines, uh, vertical lines, <clears throat> horizontal lines, lines that go side to side, diagonal lines. We talked about like wavy lines, zigzag lines, spiral lines, loop de lines, dotted lines, lots of different types of lines that are very important for us to use in art. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating some fun bugs using those lines that we learned from last week. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we gotta choose what kind of bug we want. We're either gonna do a butterfly or we're gonna do a beetle. So I'm gonna show you both. If you want to do a butterfly, the first thing that we're gonna need is a piece of paper. We're gonna need a pencil. And then you're gonna either need a popsicle stick or a coin. So whichever one you have at home, you can use. So if you have popsicle sticks, great. If you have just a coin to use, that's fine. So what we're gonna do is for our butterfly, I want my paper to be wide, so horizontal, so side to side. And I'm going to fold my paper in half. So I want that nice crease in the middle of my paper. Now I'm gonna leave it folded and I wanna pay attention to where the closed side of my paper is. So where I've created that crease, I am gonna be drawing on this side. I don't wanna draw on the open side. I want to draw on the closed side. So just watch. For my butterfly, if we wanna make a butterfly, we have to think about what a butterfly's body looks like. So I'm gonna start with a half circle for the head because we're only gonna be drawing half of our butterfly to start. So I'm gonna draw a half circle then I'm going to draw a long line that then touches almost to the bottom. So it's gonna go a long line that is the body of my butterfly. Then I need to make some wings. So for my butterfly's top wing, I'm gonna make a big long line that stretches out and kind of curves up. Then I'm gonna make a little wavy line like that, so I've got a couple waves. And then I'm gonna close it back by making another long line that stretches to the body. So that's our butterfly's top wing. Then I'm gonna make a bottom wing. So I'm gonna start a little further down on my butterfly and I'm gonna come down and out for my line. And then I'm gonna make another little wavy line and then I'm gonna make it kind of go all the way up so it touches. So there are my two wings for my butterfly. Now, the rest is kind of up to you. We're gonna be adding some of our patterns and lines into the inside of our butterfly's wings using those different lines that we've learned about. So for the antennas, I think I'm gonna do a spiral line. So that's that line that kind of curls in. Then I have to think, well, what other lines might look good here? So I think for the bottom, I'm gonna make some rainbow lines. So these are lines that are kind of curvy, looks like a rainbow. And I'm gonna put those on the bottoms right there. And I'm also gonna do that on these little pieces here too. Now remember, yours does not have to look just like Mrs. Oliveira's. I want yours to look unique. So you can do other types of lines, um, whatever ones that you think are gonna look nice for your picture. So now that I made some of those, I'm gonna add in some other different types of lines. So maybe I'm gonna use kind of a straight, well, a kind of a curved line. So now it makes it look like there's three parts to it. Um, and I'm gonna use some stripes. Then, oh, I think I'm gonna do a loop de line. So I've got some loop de's. Then, you know what? I'm gonna do opposite loop de's, so loop de's that go down. And then for the bottom, maybe I'm gonna make, oh, I'm gonna make some zigzag lines. 
So those are lines that go up and down, kind of like mountains. Um, and then I can kind of repeat, or maybe I'm gonna do wavy again. Whatever type of lines you want to use, my friends. Okay, so now my butterfly's all decorated. I've got lots of different types of lines on there. Now, I need to make the other half of my butterfly. So here's the fun part. This is why we need either a popsicle stick or a coin. And again, whichever one you have will work. I'm gonna take my paper and you can see where I creased it. I'm gonna fold it over so that my pencil side is down. So it's folded towards the inside here. And then on the back, I'm gonna take either my popsicle stick or my coin and I'm gonna scrape back and forth. Now, again, you can use either, you can use your coin or you can use your popsicle stick, whatever you have. And I'm gonna scrape, 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 scrape. And what's really cool about this is that when I open it up, you can see it's starting to transfer to the other side. So this is the way that you can kind of draw a half of your picture and then make the other half show up on the other side to make a whole butterfly. This is using what we call symmetry. So symmetry means that something is the same on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep rubbing till it transfers to the other side. Awesome, so you can see that you can see the details of my butterfly. Now, it's still kind of light, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over top of it with my pencil. Okay, so now I have the whole body of my butterfly. And then once I get to this part, this is where I want to go ahead and outline my butterfly. So you're gonna want either a black Sharpie or a black marker to trace our lines, just like we did in class. We're gonna trace over our lines and then it's time to color. If you are wanting to do a beetle, so the shape is gonna be a little bit different, we're gonna do a beetle shape. Now, for the beetle, you want your paper vertical, so long and, so nice and tall, okay? So long and tall. What I'm gonna do is just like I started with my butterfly, I'm gonna fold it in half, so this one's gonna be folded like a long hot dog. My paper is nice and long. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I check for my crease and then I'm gonna fold it. Now I wanna make sure that I am gonna be drawing on the part that's folded. I don't wanna draw on the open side, okay? I wanna draw where it's folded. So I'm gonna draw half of my beetle first and then I'm going to trace and make the other side. So to start for the shape of the beetle, what we're gonna do is we're going to make kind of a half circle. So I'm gonna come down and then I'm gonna make it flat and I'm making my line go all the way to that edge. Then I'm gonna repeat this, but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then my last piece here, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna make a nice big round shape. Now, beetles have wings, so we want to add some cool wings onto our beetle. So I'm gonna draw a long line that's kind of curved out to the side, and then I'm just gonna follow it back up to the top. So it should look kind of like a leaf shape. Now, hopefully we have an eraser, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna erase where I overlap the bottom of the body. Okay. Now, I also wanna add a little half circle here for one of his eyes, because my beetle's gonna have nice big eyes. And then we're gonna add some legs. So our first leg is going, we're just gonna use some lines. I'm gonna make a diagonal line that goes out, then a straight line up, and then another little straight line to the side. Then I'm gonna put one in the middle, because they're gonna have six legs when we're done. So. My line's gonna come out, down, and then out again. And then at the very bottom here, I'm gonna make a diagonal line that goes down, a line that comes down straight, and then out to the side for his little foot. So there is my beetle's legs. Now you can leave the beetle's legs as just the lines, or if you want them to be a little thicker, 
you can add a second one that just repeats that shape. So I'm gonna make my beetle's legs just a little bit thicker by copying those lines. Okay, so there is my beetle. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add those line patterns to my beetle. So up here on his head, I think I'm gonna do some more rainbow lines that kinda come down. Then maybe for the middle, he's gonna get some, ooh, I'm gonna do some spirals cause I think that'll look cool. So I'm gonna do a couple spirals in his body. Awesome, for his wings, you know what? He's gonna get some cool zigzag lines. And then for the inside part here, maybe he's gonna get, hmm, oh, I'm gonna do some wavies some wavy lines. All right, and then my beetle's body has all his designs on it. So now I need to transfer it to the other side. So I'm gonna open it up and again, I'm gonna fold it so that the pencil side is down. So pencil side is facing down. And then on the back, I'm gonna take either my coin or my popsicle stick and I'm gonna rub, 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 rub till it transfers to the other side. See, it's starting to transfer, but remember, it's gonna be light at first, so then I'm gonna go back with my pencil and I'm gonna retrace. Okay, so now that I've traced my beetle all in pencil, then I can go in again with either a black marky, marker or black Sharpie to outline those details and then move on to color. Okay, so once you have sharpied, now it is time to move on to color. So when you go to color, you can use whatever materials you have. If that is crayons, colored pencils, markers, uh, if you want watercolors, whatever you have to use. But when you go to color, think about how you can color in your patterns to make your lines stand out a little bit more. So like if I look at my butterfly here, when I go to color, maybe for those rainbow sections, I'm actually going to color those in rainbow order. So like red, orange, yellow, green. If I have my stripes, I could go in a pattern like blue, purple, blue, purple, blue. That, when you color in a pattern, it helps make the lines stand out that much more. So think about that when you are starting to color your bug. Okay, so as you can see, I am done coloring my butterfly. Um, we talked about making sure that when you color, think about patterns that you can use um, to make your lines stand out even more. So I hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to see what you make.